Now, developing news in James City County, power problems led to nearly 50 fire calls and hundreds of outages this afternoon. It happened as a transformer issue reportedly caused a massive power surge in the Grove and Kingsmill sections of the county. To on your sides, Liz Kilmer is live off of Pocahontas Trail with the latest. And Liz, are crews still working on it? Yeah, Tom and Anita, they sure are. And at last check, there were still hundreds of homes here in the dark. Now, otherwise, though, things have calmed down after what was a very chaotic day for power crews and for first responders. We know that as this surge was occurring, fire officials received 44 calls for service, and that was just during a two hour period. And two of those calls were for house fires. You know, the power went out just for a fraction of a second, just a few minutes before, I guess, and a lamp went off and came back on. Nancy Alexa was sitting in her study. Suddenly, she started smelling smoke. I just started smelling fire. And um, I turned around and there was smoke coming out of our closet up there. I raced around the house thinking we had a real problem. The couple quickly walked outside of their home at the Kings Mill on the James. Smoke was coming from the roof next door. I was scared, you know. I thought that, you know, it was so close to ours that I ran for the hose. And no one was home, and crews quickly got the situation under control. Officials say it was one of two fire calls to houses in the neighborhood. Uh, that was a real panic. Carl and Nancy Alexa weren't the only ones panicking in James City County. Starting at 3, officials received 44 calls, believed to be the cause of a massive power surge. Dominion officials say a transformer inside a substation in Kings Mill malfunctioned, causing voltage issues. In addition to the two house fires, fire crews say they responded to two transformer fires and dozens of other calls for shorts or smoke. The Alexas are grateful their home wasn't seriously damaged, but the smell of smoke still lingers. Like it smells like an incinerator. And fire officials tell me that there were no reported injuries during all of this. People, though, they do have some damage to their homes. And again, at this late hour, hundreds of people do remain without power. According to the Dominion website, power is expected to be restored overnight. I'm live in James City County. Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.